As the sun witnesses, we put our backs. Whoop. Kapow. You're not going to be the one to stop me. We beat him once, we'll beat him again. Right, okay. So the nuke figure. Can we go up this? Where do we go from here? There. Oh, that was a hell of a jump, though. Hmm. Think we need to go up this way. Yeah, it does seem to be the case. Right, up we go then. Ooh, what do we do here? Do we just shimmy up? Yes, we do. Sometimes it's just Aloy moving around. I have less and less control over her actions as time goes on. I mean, it's very cinematic, but sometimes it's just a case of as long as I'm roughly looking in the right direction and I touch the uh, movement, uh, the analog stick, then Aloy will make the jump. Oh, that is a good point, actually, Leafin. Meridia will probably will have much, much nicer weapons, so I really do need to get that uh, that um, ability soon. Oh, we finished the, the whole thing. I name you. Taktuk. Upon this peak, I name you my son, that which I could not do before my exile. Signak, chieftain of my Werak, thought your blood was his. The truth was clear as the colour of the sky painted in your eyes and mine. As I wander alone in this foreign land, it is not Signac's death that wounds me, nor the memory of Ili, your mother, nor even the loss of snow-sheathed Ban Ur, my home, but instead the silence that lay between us. Who should have been father and son? I paint my mark here for you, and leave you this offering, though it will never touch the warmth of your hands. Okay. This is going to be quite the slide. We bump. Right. I've got a long, long task ahead of me to replace all of those lost medicinal supplies. Ugh. That's annoying. But my own fault. Right. Let's get down there. Actually, in the next three points, the next three skill points, I'm going to be at level 30. And at level 30... I will probably be <laughs> heading up to the uh, DLC area. Hmm. I'm not even sure we're going to get the Meridian. My uh, level gain speed has been rather substantial. Okay, I can't call it over, so let's just sneak in. Come hit it. Would you like to be my friend? I mean, like is probably not necessarily a word that I should use here because it doesn't really matter. You're going to be my friend whether you want it or not. And I'm just going to be over here for now. Don't mind me. Just being a sneaky sneak. And what? Well, I will kind of help you, I guess. No. Don't beat up my friend, you scallywags. Oh, I totally helped. I got that kill. 100% me. Without me, you would have been doomed. But it's okay. I don't need your thanks. What are her friends for? But to help him out of scrapes. Right. Let's get on back down. Grab that. Uh, campfire. Mm, can't easily cross the water here. Uh, actually, no. It looks like I can. Okay. 
Yeah, Leafin, that's exactly like when I ask you if you'd like to be our mods. While already stabbing us with the mod sword. Yeah. There we go. Come on, me. It's just on fire. It is fine. Just stay out of their way for now. Yep. Uh oh, haha! <laughs> no, naughty. Super naughty. I will search it. And combat override you? I'm not sure. Nope. I might be able to combat override you if I can get a solid blow. Or two. Oh, no. I didn't stun you with that. Wow. I'm actually a little bit surprised. Alright, so I clearly need to do a lot better with uh, my... My heavy attacks. I need stronger heavy attacks. That was that was a pretty, pretty big shock, honestly. I was really expecting to take uh, take that out, or rather to stun it with the first hit, or at least the second. Watches. What on earth is that? Is it some sort of. That looks like a cave. In the rock. Just by the waterfall. Um. Sure. Come on, me. Fascinating. If they weren't looking for me. That is not a happy scrapper. Which is sort of like being a not happy camper. Only it involves more unhappiness. Leafin, why miss you mock my lack of healing herbs? So rude. So unnecessary. Hey, come on with you. No, don't back off. You're much more intelligent than the other creatures. I, I will give you that. Punk. But it is frustrating. Oh, 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 oh. It's just about to do the city, I think. Mind me. None of that, please. <sighs> there we go. Uh, I think there may be another scrapper still. Yeah, there is. Most definitely. Hello. Two of you. Oh, I only need two. Okay. Really noted. That's all right. Ouch. Okay, and a bit of trouble now. Oof. Oh, can we... No, there we go. Wow. We took an awful lot of damage there. And I all very, very nearly gave away the game by... Uh, Letting myself die while having potions in my hand, in my hotbar. Okay. 
Okay, this is, I guess, a little bit cheeky. But I don't really care that much. These are the basic arrows, so they're not expensive to use. Oof, mountain goat hardiness. That's how I'm alive, Leafin. Mountain goat hardiness. Let's grab a little bit of everything. Perfect. Scrap a heart. Nice. Very nice uh, bit of loot there. Please tell me this cave. There it is. Marvelous. Anything back here? Oh. Don't mind me. You know what? Okay. All of your components are removed. In the eye. Oh. I was trying to shoot you in the eye again, but nope. What do we have back here? Uh, box and some components. Oh wow! Plus forty-four percent corruption coil, plus nine percent stealth weave. A lot of processed metal blocks. Very well done. Spark a resource. Okay, back to the task of trying to replace my. Uh, hmm. My medicinal herbs. Looks like we've got Daughter's Vengeance over there. Carja Fort. We could swing down and just clear out this area, I guess. There is a metal flower really close by as well. How close? Well, reasonably. I was very excited to find that cave, and exceedingly sad that it didn't have something more like a, uh, a hidden area. What on earth is that? I really want to get up there and find out. There's the campfire. Oh, that's a long way down. Oh, no, it's not. Actually, it's not nearly as far down there as I thought. Where's the campfire? Oh, there it is. Just up this little, uh, little rise. Hi, Lady Diana Moon. Uh, we've been streaming for about five and a half hours so far. Now, before we go anywhere that I think has got a very high likelihood of being dangerous, I am probably going to wrap up the stream because I'm definitely feeling the effect Oh, oh, it's a it's a bandit camp. Okay, all right, I, I see. Very well. But uh, I am definitely starting to feel the effect of being tired. I am making very dumb decisions. There's not even a hint of strategy in these decisions. There's just an awful lot of hubris in them. And it is going to cost us. It already cost me the fact that, that one of our sons was not a first attempt blazing sun. Which makes me much more upset than it really should. I'll be honest. What is that? Hang on a second. Oh, that's a little sorted. I know I shall go to bed soon. Okay. Thank you very much for, for looking out for me, though. Easy, easy. Hmm. Where is this flower? Is the flower over here? No. I would definitely like to grab this thing. 
Um, let's just take you out, shall we? Ah, oh, damn it. Investigating a dead something. This would be dangerous for us. Let me go for a triple shock. And again. Nope, thank you. No oh, thanks. Okay. Now then, um, there we go. now, unfortunately, that is not going to do enough. Oh dear! No, it is not. Whew. Nope. <sighs> Thank you, but no. Please be on fire again. Oof. I stop to pick herbs and then I get attacked. How bloody rude you are. I honestly thought it was going to be stunned long enough that it would die from the flames, but uh, alas, no. As I said, hubris, my friends. Let's grab a little bit of everything. Now, this looks a really, really interesting little open area, though. So many plants. And there were so many bushes that I could hide in if I wanted to get close. That'll help. I should have, but hold on. There we go. But yeah, you can fire three arrows at once once you've got the skill. And I did make a bit of a beeline for that, to be honest. Seems like a really good skill to have. Corruption glaze root. Honestly, I was expecting to find the uh, flower in here. Hmm. It looked like such a conspicuous little area. It's not. So we're going to need to look more up here, then, for this flower. Keep your eyes peeled, chat, for a metal flower. Could be just about anywhere. Um, if I get up high, I'll be able to look down and ha perhaps have a bit of a better chance of seeing it. I was genuinely expecting to see it over in that little uh, area there. No. Oh, there we are! Ha ha! Got you. Look out below! Indeed. I love how happy Aloy sounds when she says that. There we go. Found you. And there we are, that's the last one for set one. To tangle or untangle the willow, it's up to the wind. Alright. I'm not going to go and rush off to do that, but I am going to try and uh, make my way a bit further south. And clear out this corrupted zone. Now, from what I understand, we've already done everything we need to unlock the the gate. Uh, 
Because I believe we've already effectively completed that quest. Oh no, here we are. This one's a level 15 corrupted zone. The forsaken village that Maria spoke of. It's in shambles. Right, let's have a quick look see. See what we can find. Oh, there's a watcher. And the fireplace. If it's just watchers that we have over here, then it's probably not going to be too much of a problem. Hmm. I need more arrows. There you go. And we need more fire as well because all corrupted machines are vulnerable to flames. Low and quiet does it. That's one down. Oh, there's the others. There's the other one. Never mind. Here they come. Corrupted watchers. No oh, thanks. There we go. There we go. That should finish them all off. There we go. Nice and simple does it. I say, despite the fact that I took a fairly big bit of damage there, but that's taken us a good bit of the way to level 20. My lord. Snow. It's not getting any warmer out here. Let's grab this one as well. And grab this campfire. We've made a good bit of the way to the next area. For a vantage point. Oh, actually, this little pass is going to more or less go straight past that bandit camp, no matter what we do. Uh, however, there are a couple of more um, little areas down here, and there's also a, another um, campfire that we can grab. Sure, let's go and check out this vantage point. Yeah, the bandit quest is kicking it again. Okay. Well, we might need to go and deal with that one then. Now, where would that vantage point be? Can we see it here anyway? Doesn't appear that it's on any of these little rock faces. I can't imagine it's going to be up in the uh, bandit camp. At least I hope it isn't. Odds are it's on one of these little um, rocky... St oh, there we are, I think. I can see a bit of... Uh, Discoloration in the sky, yes, there we are. Okay. Can we see it? Maybe I need to look back this way. Oh, there we are. There we go. A pack of shit storm tour. Day eight. Holy crap. That glitched out lifter that crushed your arm and clavicle. Back before you met Wyatt. That was in a mine back beyond these falls. Oh, what a punk I was. Okay. So the, the bandit camp have basically set up in what was a mansion, I guess? Okay, that's the whole of set one. Bridal Veil Falls. Ma, 
I can't believe I just stumbled across this place. I remembered your injury, of course. I just forgot that it happened all the way out here. This is before Wyatt, obviously. When things were really hard for us. I was 12 or 13, already smoking duster every day. And you were working all the time, stuck on the job you convinced Metallurgic to give you after they stiffed us on the death settlement. It must have been terrible, servicing mining robots and dig tunnels for 1.5 basic. But it's how you kept us fed. When the lifter injured you, the foreman said it was your fault. Said the telemetry showed human error. Yours. When you told me that the telemetry had been cooked, I didn't believe you. I blamed you for your injury, same as the company. What a great kid I was. I didn't understand the situation at all. Denial of comp was a financial death blow. We were days from living on the street, which is why you pushed your grievances up the ladder. Up and up, until finally you wound up in Wyatt's office. He ordered an investigation, which was the right thing to do. Though I've always wondered just how dispassionate his decision was. The investigation proved the telemetry had been tampered with and validated your claim, and the implants and cybernetics fixed you up good as new. By all appearances, it looked like everything had gotten back, uh, gotten broken had been fixed. Hell, another six months and you and Wyatt started seeing each other. So before long, even your, our poverty was fixed. What we didn't know, of course, was that you'd uh, that you'd been poisoned. Blue Boss Six exposure from the solvents you used to keep your robot joints clear. We were still years away from knowing the long-term effects, but the damage was done. You doomed yourself working a shitty job just to keep me fed and clothed, and I can't even remember a single time I thanked you for it. Screw this place. Wow. You guys. Seriously, there's a, there's a massive part of me that's more invested in those stories than I am. In uh, I, the vast majority of the side quests I've done so far. Alright. Got another camp and a corrupted zone just down here. It would be nice if when we go to the um, the walls, we've cleared everything out of the sacred lands that we can. I think that would actually be pretty cool. Uh, where is that? Oh, well, yeah, okay. Looks like they're just the lore, the Nora, the, the Laura, the Nora camp has been. Really emptied out. There is meant to be a something here. Yeah, we are. There's the trader. Hello there. You. Maybe Nightbot needs Lubo Six. Uh, maybe. Hello. Will any of you ever have something better for me to buy? No. Very well. I accept. Thank you for the box. Uh, right, let's go and uh, open these up. Can't get the... Uh, okay, I need to use these traps at some point. There you do. Um... Got watches down there. We've got broadheads and some watches over there. I'd like to at least grab these sights. If I can get one of the broadheads to be my mount, I would totally accept that. Right. Over you come. And there we go. There we are. Right, now let me just skedaddle out of this immediate area because you're about to have a bit of a fight. How about. Uh... Yeah, they're all getting a bit upset now. Uh, some of them are charging, some of them are not. Mine managed to do a pretty good job there. Okay, you to join us. Uh, 
Okay, apparently I can't override you. That may be... Perhaps it, you, you were right in that uh, we can't override more than one machine at a time. Hmm, interesting. At any rate, you know, watch a site discovered. That's all I needed from there. Uh, we've got another watcher site just down south. Uh, do I have a mount? Or is it in there? So it has, in fact, been slain. That is not quite what I wanted to do, but sure. One there. One there. One over here as well. Oh, damn it. But it's fine. Be fascinating if they weren't looking for me. I don't think they're looking for anything anymore. Fairly certain. Their looking days are behind them. I just really don't need the amount of blaze that I could harvest off these. There's so many herds. So it just makes sense to just go for the easy kills. When they're in a group like that, just hit one or two of them with blaze and then they're just going to set off a chain reaction which will take all the others out. But once uh, once I've got more of a use for okay. blaze, maybe okay. we'll go on occasional blaze gathering trips. Um, there's the site just down there. Come on over here. Go for a silent kill or I'll try to override, depending on what I can do. There we go. And we're done. And try. Does that force them to stop attacking, I wonder? Wow, our watcher is really bad at fighting. Oh no, never mind, I take it back. Hold well on. Right, onwards to the watcher site. And generally around this uh, lake. I, I'm keen to explore as much of this area as I can before we leave. Uh, there we go. Grab this one. Alright. Got the uh, area. So now we just... Ooh, is that intentional? No, that doesn't look like man-made. I think it's cool to, you know, have a proper nosy around. Oh, you saw nothing. Thank you. Feel free to kill my enemies. Because they are also your enemies now. Don't mind me. Oh. Doesn't matter. They're dying. It's gonna hurt. Oh, that is unfortunate. Did not really help me. Nope. Aha! You fool! Oh, wait. There we go, that's much better. Nope. There we go. I think that's the lot of them. So far, we've managed to upgrade a bunch of our weapons, but one thing I've not really done much of. I, I don't know. Do we do we only upgrade our our, our um, melee weapon through skills? Because I've noticed there's a bunch of skills that will increase your melee weapon strikes, whereas there's not really skills that increase your your archery damage. There's plenty of skills that give you more function to your bow, but not really skills that give you any additional. Um, uh, 
function to your spear. I mean, they'll, they'll just flat out give you more damage, which seems a little bit odd. Considering there's nothing like that for bow weapons. Ah, uh, no, I haven't died. Uh, there's been a few close calls, Cameron, but no deaths. Uh, I've been streaming now for nearing six hours. But I am definitely, 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 definitely um, getting a bit slow and de absolutely more, uh, uh, well, let's see, not risk prone, but less risk averse as I, uh, as the night draws on. I'm, I'm really, really being a bit of a dope with that. So we're going to get over to the gates and then probably wrap the stream up there. With the idea that we're going to speak to Ross in the beginning of each stream. As that kind of serves as a, as a um, recounting of what we've done and what we've got to do next for us during the stream as well. Which is actually pretty cool, I think. I have a bit more stuff. Now, I am quite keenly aware that uh, as a direct result of the fact that I've been doing so much... Um, just kind of wandering around, uh, just exploring the open world. I've been discovering little side quests and things here and there, but largely I've, I've been fighting robots, I've been exploring locations, collecting collectibles. But not a lot of main story progress has been made. Now I'm kind of debating um, how to Never how to work with that in regards to... Uh, oh, what, what's going on over there? <gasps> Are those giant crocodiles? I think they may be. But um, I have been trying to decide what to do with that in terms of putting this up in, in VODs on YouTube. Because previously there was a lot of story progression. But now, not so much. And if this were like a recorded series, I might be inclined to cut some of it out. However, I don't want to cut large chunks of this out. Because as we've been exploring, we've also been uncovering side quests to take part in. It's been a bit of an odd one. So there's no obvious, yeah, this is just grind for the sake of grind. We've been doing things the whole time and exploring things the whole time. Um, so it's a bit of a bit of a, an awkward one there. Right, so I need to know what I need to do against you. You're weak to fire, weak to fire and tear, weak to everything. Okay. Oh, why did I do that? Much dumb. Okay, well you're weak to fire and tear. Um, how likely are you to get shocked? From that far away, it's not a great effect, I'll be honest. I see no reason... There we go. Nice. I see no reason to get down there and, and get involved in the fight that I don't particularly want to be a part of. Um, I can... Be a massive uh, cheese over here, and so I will. Why would I intentionally put myself in harm's way? Got another large explosion, and it's down. That was a very big, chunky bit of uh, experience there. You should absolutely not look away from me. I promise you it'll be a bad move. And another one. Please no. Ouch. Okay. I guess that was only fair. I was being a massive uh, cheese mongrel. There we go. Quiet. 
Marvelous, level 28. I can get out of this. So. Not so bad, eh? There we are. Let's have a look at what we got. Chill water. Loads of chill water. That'll be from knocking off their free sacks. Uh, we've got a big old damage call. Very nice. More chill water. It looks like that's probably the main access component that I'm going to get. What on earth was that? Back to your business. Oh, a herd, perhaps? Regardless, we've got a lot of good things from these. And a lot of EXP. Eh, that's not an amazing one, I'll be honest with you. Um, let's go and check out my inventory. Uh, okay, that, that actually isn't terrible. At that point, I, I really am starting to think that these uh, flame calls that we've got are just not worth me having. The K Cameron. Yeah, the cheese in that engagement was uh, oh, that that was a strong cheddar. At the very least. Let's have a look in here then. Some ancient debris. Quite a lot. Just random gubbins. Summon Cyber Eye. Uh, let's have a look upstairs. Not that there is really much of an upstairs anymore. Anyway. Alright. Alright, we've got the corrupted zone to go and deal with. Try and make our way over there. Now, having killed the uh, robot crocodiles, is this a safe place for me to swim? I guess. We're about to find out. There we go. Corrupted zone. Let's have a look. This one's a level 20 corrupted zone. So we're only eight levels above this one. Kind of corrupted creatures that we got to play with. Ooh, you're gonna be an interesting one, aren't you? Let's have a quick look, um, so I can refresh my memory on how you guys work. Weakness all, an alarm signal tear, house sellers tear and shock. Hmm. Two. And then we want fire, pretty much. Nope. There we go. I'm going to need a lot of these. And that took it down, but it is not taking the others out. Oh dear, that was perhaps... I needed to be a lot more stealthy with that than I was. And running into this area is probably not the smartest one. But if I can get to some... Stealth area... Oh, no! <laughs> no, I cannot get to stealth area, apparently. Get one, two... Hello! Oh! Wow, that hit me. I didn't realize that would actually hurt me. I figured tear was not a, uh, a something that I needed to worry about. You learn something new every day, I guess. Hello. Oh, that's a lot of Please be dead. There we go. That should finish you at the very least. And a lot of experience for that one. Stop tensing up. Yep. 
Need more. Need to keep the flames constant. Corrupted again. I need whatever non corruption stuff I had. Oh, I guess I don't have any. Nope. That's right. The initial panic that they have when they first get uh, set on fire is often what helps me keep ahead of them. Oh dear. And that one's cleared out as well. Though. But yeah, they'll have... Even if fire doesn't do an enormous amount of of an effect to, uh, to enemies, like it doesn't stun them like shock does, they have this kind of um, stun effect, a brief um, interrupt chance, I, I would say. I would describe it more as an interrupt. And when you're in close quarters, that may well be the thing that keeps you alive, it seems. I'll take care, Luke Cloud. So as it is 1am here, I have to concede my body's the man for rest. Don't stay up too long, Adam, and have a good night. <laughs> Thank you so much. I will. I promise. Uh, let's grab a little bit more. Alright. We should be able to uh, investigate up here. We can find some more goodies. Yeah. Some more ancient gubbins. I think more to see with my focus, I wonder. And there's fish. Ooh, hello. Get TDO started. User guide. Data corruption partial. Thank you for purchasing the TDO Residential Organization Assistant. Please follow these instructions to guide your TDO through uh, setup. Before activating your TDO, take special care to tidy up your place of residence manually. Don't worry, it's the last time you'll ever have to. Download the TDO app. TIDO. There we go. Uh, so your personal augmentation device uh, activation code is printed on the underside of your TIDO. Power on your TIDO. Use the app to inform the TIDO of which rooms you wish it to service. Allow three minutes for the Tidio to record the layout of your home and the locations of your personal possessions. For testing purposes, remove five to ten items from their usual locations. Tell Tidio, tidy tie. If instructions have been followed correctly, your Tidio should now be ready to keep your home tidy and organized. Enjoy your Tidio residential organization assistant. Well, that's rather awesome. And I bet I've been missing loads of those all over the place because I just haven't looked for them. Ah. Uh. That's another thing with being a, a little bit tired while I've been playing through this. Is I, I've just probably been uh, forgetting a bunch of useful stuff like that. Uh, right. Okay. We've only got a little bit further to go now. Oh, we're almost done. I don't think we need to strictly deal with the bandit quest. So that might be something that we could do later. Or it could be one of the last side questy things we do today. I mean, we totally could do do that as as a bit of a um, a wrap up for the side quests, at least. That might be uh, might be fun to do, and then we can move on to the main story when we return to streaming next time. What do you think, chat? Do you want us to take on the bandit hub or just head on over to the gate and say hello to the Kaja? Now again, this is pretty much as far as I've gone. Once once I've gone through here and gotten to Meridian, everything after that is blind to me. So we're getting very close. Hello, Dead Watcher. You vote Gate. Very well. Gate. Okay, we've got a couple of votes for Gate then. Gate it is. We have made crazy progress. I don't know what level we were when we started today. 
But I have a feeling it was below 20. I could be massively wrong about that. But I've got a funny feeling that at the very beginning of today's stream, I was below the 20 mark. Where's that campfire? Just up there. You said you were tired, so I vote gate. That way, you can get some rest. Ah, thank you. Glad, glad chat is taking care of my well-being, because I'm definitely not. Right then. Plenty of uh, arrow replenishing supplies. Hint, 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 hint. Hint, 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 hint. So many arrow replenishing supplies. I wonder whatever could be up ahead. Sounds of fighting. Has something attacked the Karja fort? Kill the corrupted machines. I mean, I'll certainly try. Um. Also, I'm absolutely gonna lay uh, traps around here. Oh, well, they've noticed me. A corruptor. Yes, it is. Uh, if that corrupted wants to come over here, it totally can. Uh, likewise, so can you, really, but I'd rather you didn't. Hello. Turn back, girl. These machines are dangerous. Oh, I'm sure they are. I'd like to imagine that I'm going to be safe, but uh, I'm probably not. Uh oh. Aha! You fool! Fell right into my trap! Actually, you exploded everything at once. Well, that's kind of annoying. Also, I'm barely doing anything to you. Oh, oh that's bad time. News biz. There we go. Right, I would really love it if we could eliminate the others for now. Oh, okay, that's one down. Oh. Right, that's another one down. Hello. Let's get another one. Oh! It's got a it's actually got a heat mechanic. I didn't remember that. If that was always there, I am very sorry for having missed it. Nope, please not. Fine though, I've got many. Ah, damn it. Stop bouncing around. You're not a bloody jumping spider. Unless you are. In this case, well played. There we go. Pop. Truly, the sun shines upon oh. us this day. It wasn't the sun risking its ass down here. It was not, no. You ungrateful. Cowards, my lord. On the plus side, get to uh, open up a corruptor and all of his friends. Girl, approach. All right, all right, all right. Uh, mind you, actually, Aloy, that was a bit insensitive. It's clear that quite a lot of them did risk their lives and didn't do Girl, quite as well as us. Come closer. <sighs> All right. Hello. So, will you open the gate for me now? <laughs> you heard her. Open the gates and send word to Captain Balon. Where are you headed, girl? West to Meridian. Open the gates. There we go. Now, I believe if you actually just follow the main quest and just come here super early without having already cleared the corrupted lands, then they would send you away because... And I only have his dialogue to go on with that because I'm fairly certain I, I just cleared out the corrupted lands when I came through here the first time as well. But I assumed that he would, would ask us to uh, head on through... Uh, sorry, yeah, go and clear the corruption before opening it. Just because of the way Aloy says, will you open it for me now? But, there we are. I think we're going to wrap this up here. Oh, yes. Belial has just confirmed in chat. Yep, that is correct. Alec. Well, there we go. 
I think, though, that's going to be it for me. For now. I really, really do hope you've all enjoyed. We are most of the way... Well, sorry, we're over halfway now to level 29. Clearing out the bandit area may actually give us level 30. So, the question will be then, do we press on to Meridian, or do we go and check out the DLC in uh, Frozen Lands? I'm actually kind of fancying going to uh, Frozen Wilds, but... Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. In the next stream, the, we'll start off, of course, by going and chatting with Rost and then seeing where we go from there. I may actually just dip into the into the fort and, and just complete that quest line, so maybe we'll have a little bit more to talk about when we go and talk with Rost. But I think that will be uh, be more or less it. Uh, but I has mentioned, if you want more context as to what happens in the DLC area, I would recommend getting further into the main story missions. You will be overleveled throughout the entire game. Ah, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll see what, what goes on there. Um, but that's going to be it from me. So until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.